Hello and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Modern Warfare 2. Just really quick before I get started here, if you enjoy this video or any of my other videos and you want to help support the channel, then leaving a like and subscribing to the channel would be very much appreciated. I'm trying to upload as often as I can, but uh, I mentioned it a few times already, but uploads and streams are going to be a bit scarce in, for the next like week or two because uh, I am getting ready to move and uh, especially next week is when I actually start moving. So regardless, any support shown my way would be very much appreciated. But yeah, I'm just here playing more Modern Warfare 2. And uh, so not only do I have the battle pass to complete since I bought it because I'm a Valeria simp. I'm not proud of it, but um, but there's also the haunting event, which started yesterday, I believe. And, uh, you know, like most of the events for this in terms of the reward structure, you know, it's pretty much the same. You get a currency and matches and then you can spend it in the shop for various things and whatnot. And uh, the thing down here, which it's not actually unlocked yet, it unlocks next Tuesday, I believe. It is the ghoul camo. I think that's what it's called. It's like purple and green. And, uh, you know, so I, I have multiple reasons to, you know, be playing the game besides just, you know, for the lols, I guess. But uh, yeah, that camo, uh, it came out recently that uh, there's videos going around showing what the camo used to look like. And then recently, I guess they updated it at some point. I don't know how people are seeing it, considering the fact that it's not actually unlocked yet, but uh, people have found ways to look at it in game and if you need seems to have reduced the glow like drastically on that i'm sure if you go on twitter and you just look up like a monomorph or two or whatever you'll be able to find clips of it now the camel still glows like a little bit but it's definitely not as vibrant and bright as the original video was you know people are like going around being like if you need hates fun and they hate bright and colorful skins but then we have lilith from diablo and skeletor from he-man running around so I, I don't really know what's going on there in terms of that but uh, I will probably get it not only because I'm going to be playing the game a shit ton because of the battle pass anyways, but on the off chance that they do update the camo at some point and they like make it glow brighter than it is currently, then uh, that would be a very cool camo to have because I actually think that camo looks cool uh, when it's glowing really bright in the old version. So maybe if, if enough people complain, they'll uh, revert it or at the very least make it brighter than what it is currently. But uh, originally, this was supposed to be a Halo Infinite video, because if you don't know, the Season 5 update for Halo Infinite came out yesterday. And you know, it, there's a whole bunch of, like, Flood Theme cosmetics and then, like, Master Chief bundles. And I think for Ranked, there's even, you can get, like, the Master Chief Halo Infinite, like, armor. So that's pretty cool. And I believe at some point during the season, uh, Firefight is going to be added into the game, which is super cool. And they also added an AI into Forge, I think, and there's a whole bunch of goofy-ass clips going around about that. But uh, yeah, the reason I'm not playing Halo Infinite is because I don't know whether it's just my computer or the update, but the performance on the game is completely borked from the last time that I played it. Yeah, there's tons of screen tearing going on and uh yeah, it's it's very annoying i have v-sync enabled and everything too and no matter what settings i change the screen tearing is always there and when i turn v-sync on the screen tearing is still there and it also reduces the game to like 24 frames a second and i don't know why so uh hopefully they fix that at some point because that's a really weird and specific issue oh my god people who use last stand deserve to have nature valley bars eaten in their bed God, I love Keith David as a voice actor. He's so good. Imagine unironically using Last Stand in the year of our Lord 2023. I figured while I'm unlocking the Battle Pass, I, I might as well also uh, level up guns that I haven't used or unlocked yet. And uh, this new ISO SMG is pretty crazy. I'm using a blueprint right now because I don't actually have the gun unlocked in the Battle Pass yet. But yeah, if I had the actual gun unlocked, I would probably put like a bigger magazine on it because this thing shoots really fast and it doesn't have a ton of recoils. I also went around just in my own time and played all the different uh, game modes in multiplayer for the haunting event and uh, they're, they're pretty cool. The map changes are definitely the most obvious thing along with the new infection mode where when you're a zombie it's in third person. That's pretty cool. It's definitely not my type of thing. I'd like to run around and get a bunch of kills with guns and whatnot. So, And uh, all the stuff in DMZ with all the bosses, that's super cool and I would play it but, I mean, I'm not really much of a DMZ person, or a Warzone person for that matter. And uh, I definitely don't feel like dropping into DMZ solo to try and do all that. I 
feel like regardless of whether I did that in Warzone or DMZ, it would still be a pain in the ass. Just because I'm not used to playing those game modes. Man, I'm not one to like complain about SBMM because I don't think I'm good enough at the game for it to actually like matter that much but like yesterday and earlier today i was playing a few games and these were some of the most i don't even i wouldn't even call it sweaty i would just call it like annoying because it's not like the people in my games were particularly good they were just running around using the most annoying shit possible like mx guardians and oh my god it was so annoying you just run around a corner and you just evaporate how many hit markers do i have to get before somebody dies I think the only weapons I have to level up at this point is the the other ISO SMG, the older one, and then the Karak sniper rifle and the Cronin Squall battle rifle. I think that's it. Man, it's so weird that we never got any new LMGs in this game at all. And then I also have to level up the Damon pistol. Yeah, I'm just going to go on a rant here for a second about something completely unrelated. So I've mentioned it a few times in like videos before but uh i play fighting games occasionally and i like to mod fighting games because i play them on pc and uh, it's always just you know visual mods that are client side so it's not like the other player could even see them let alone have them affect the game at any point but yeah i never i always forget how annoying it is to mod like current fighting games i mean i guess maybe it actually just depends because i don't think my guilty gear mods break when updates come out but for street fighter 6 there's a ton of cool like character costume mods and things like that that allow you to you know change characters to make them look the way you want them to and give them old costumes that they don't have or whatnot it's super cool but yeah every time a update for the game comes out which is basically like when a new character comes out yeah they don't come out that frequently they come out like every three four months or something like that but it's often enough because i don't play the game super often that when it does happen all my mods just break you know, specific mods don't break it i'm not sure what uh distinction is there but like a lot of the cool costume mods often break and like give the characters like cursed textures and everything like that so as much as i would like to make the game look the way that i want it to having to update mods assuming that the mod authors update their mods in the first place every single time an update comes out is like really annoying <laughs> Did I get stuck and survive? What was that? Did I have spawn protection? Oh my god, it's Skeletor. Yes. Man, nothing kills the game, a game of shipment more than people who use annoying ass killstreaks. Oh my god. Like mortar strikes and VTOLs and attack choppers. Like I guess like, you know, obviously using those things is super fun, especially things like the attack chopper because you get to control it and everything. But like VTOLs and mortar strikes where you just completely block off an entire part of the map especially in game modes like domination or hardpoint it's like, it's so cringe and annoying it's like the whole point of shipment is to run around and murder people with your guns a gazillion times and you're over here killing people with like artillery bombardments from 60 miles away it's like grow up bro why do the i forgot all the, all the different sound effects they changed with the uh taunting update maybe it's the decoys i don't know what it is that's making like those like monkey noises they sound like the demi humans from elden ring it's such a weird specific sound it's so weird it's like why does it make that noise man i really want to play lords of the fallen again and stream it but i mentioned before that they've been updating the game and improving you know performance and game balance things and whatnot but uh The game updated earlier today and I got a message starting it up that uh, I had a low disk speed warning. Not disk space, but speed. And I have it installed on like an internal hard drive, which I thought was fine, but apparently, I guess because the game is like on Unreal Engine 5 and you know, it's using like new technology or whatever. Um, they recommend that you install it on the SSD and thankfully I have an SSD on here But it doesn't have that a lot ton of space and uh, lo and behold when I I unstopped the game And I redownloaded it onto my SSD and the game ran way better now Obviously, I just went in there and tested it for like a few seconds So it's not like I played the game for hours on end to like fully check but if the performance holds up all because I Put it on an ssd and i'm sure also in addition to the updates that they've been making um i think i might have to look into replacing all my hard drives with ssds and i mean they're not that expensive i think i saw ssds like two terabyte going for 
like 150 160 dollars which i mean i guess is kind of a lot but i guess depending on where you get them and when you get them they might be cheaper or more expensive so yeah i got my uh, tax return the other day as well so it was like a few hundred dollars I also did my speaking of which I did my taxes for the first time in my life and uh, it was way easier than I thought it was gonna be this motherfucker running around with the throwing knife I'm gonna mm, I'm gonna commit forever sleep I swear to god how did I not kill a single person there what is this mw3 sttk why is there a trophy system here why is there a trophy system in our spawn this motherfucker But uh, yeah, I got a few hundred dollars for my tax return, so I'm probably going to spend that on like an SSD or two, and then I'm going to have to uninstall everything and install it on those. So I'll be, because when I did it for Lords of the Fallen, I was surprised how much of a difference in performance that that made specifically. So at some point I'm going to do that, and then hopefully I notice a significant increase in performance in just my games, generally speaking. Man, I'm doing sh these games. Playing games and talking is way harder. <laughs> Should have at least gotten like 40 kills, jeez. Also, I don't know if anybody else feels this way, but I remember back when I played the game originally, back in like season one, two, and a little bit of three, mostly one and two, but um, I noticed that I feel like I'm not getting as much battle pass XP as I used to get. Like even when I had boosts active recently, I felt like I wasn't getting a ton and I would get like 50 kills in a shipment game. So I don't know, do they like limit the amount of XP you can get for your battle pass if you just spam? shipment or specific game mode generally because that's what it feels like i know destiny does that like if you grind certain uh, activities not uh xp but you get less like rewards like guns and whatnot at least that's what happens when you do strikes all the time i don't know about everything else but yeah i'm 36 percent of the way through the battle pass and one other thing i mentioned i couldn't find the countdown for the season so if you go over here it says that call of duty season six has 48 days remaining i'm pretty sure i don't think there's a release date on the steam page which is weird but if you look it up i'm pretty sure modern warfare 3 comes out in it comes out like the beginning of november like november 18th the 10th something like that so that's less than a month that's about a month or less away so this season looks like it's gonna be going into the release of modern warfare 3 so i don't know how that's gonna work i guess it'll be stuck in modern mm -hmm. i wonder is the season gonna be like carried over into modern warfare 3 or is it just gonna be relegated to modern warfare 2 and warzone i guess it'll still be going on in warzone yeah but that's really weird but uh yeah i think that's gonna do it for me today i've been rambling enough as it is so i think i'm gonna end the video here just as a reminder if you did enjoy this video and want to help support the channel then leaving a like and subscribing to the channel would be very much appreciated i'm trying to upload as much as possible but again i am moving relatively soon that so that's probably gonna you know hamper my upload schedule more than it already is also i wonder since people can look at the event skin already i wonder if people know how much it's gonna cost in terms of souls not that that it's important because i'll probably have enough by the time it comes out anyways but i wonder if you'll be able to buy it or whether you'll have to buy a minimum amount of other rewards before you can actually get it that would suck hopefully they don't do that but hopefully they update the skin at some point if it actually looks like shit in game also uh one other thing it's funny because there's a uh, skin for doing the champions quest and doing the nuke thing in uh warzone and apparently it's so bright that it's literally blinding because of the glare that reflects off of it so that's hilarious but with all that said and done i think that's gonna do it for me for today so uh yeah later